Jerry Wheaton, born 1948, years at Penhurst, 1951 to 1971. Jerry Wheaton recently told his story in an article entitled A Penhurst Survivor, written by Jody Dill of the Ark of Chester County in the summer of 2018. Volume 57, Issue 2, Issue of Pennsylvania Message. Some excerpts from this article are included here with Jerry and Jody's permission. Jerry Wheaton and his sister were placed at Penhurst by their parents. Jerry was three and his sister Teresa was four at the time. Jerry would occasionally go for weekend visits back to his home, but trips were rare. His parents lived in upstate Pennsylvania, and that was a long car ride home. Jerry describes his arrival and interactions with Teresa after brother and sister both moved into Penhurst. I went to Penhurst when I was three years old and my sister, my mom and dad were fighting and the court decides for me and my sister to go to Penhurst. So when I went to Penhurst, they put us in a hospital until we were about 15 years old. I went to D3 and my sister went to the female colony. My mom, mom and dad come down in 19, 1965 came to visit me. The visiting room was over in the A building. He took us out of the A building. We went down by the ball field. There was a big flagpole there. We sat on the steps and we were talking. And they asked me how I like Penners. And I said, oh, I don't like it at all. Too much evil. I said, the devil was always around. And I, and I really believed in the Lord. The Lord always stood with me. So going on, when my family, you know, went home, we had to go back to the ward. And Teresa had to go back up in the tree. See, at that time, the boys and the girls weren't supposed to be together. Mm -hmm. They kept us apart. We weren't allowed to see the girls, and the boys weren't allowed to see the, you know, the girls. Mm -hmm. But she was my sister. I went to see her anyway. Mm -hmm. I was stuck up. 20 times to see her, mm -hmm. the 20th time, that's when they caught me. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were angry. You're not allowed to see the girls, my sister, and I'll go see her when I want. While at Penhurst, Jerry described doing many jobs. Each job was based on each person's intellectual ability, says Jerry. He worked in the kitchen, moving food to and from the walk-in freezer. Other times, Jerry would bathe the babies, a term used at Penhurst for those with the most significant needs. Sometimes he saw that they would get burned in the bathtub because the caretakers wouldn't check the water temperature first. In addition, Jerry worked on the farm where the livestock was raised. Jerry remembers, the farmer didn't like me because I named the animals. Then they would come to me when I called them. One job Jerry performed which took special training and in which Jerry took personal pride was his work as a barber for some of the residents. During the day, I used to work in the barber shop. Well, see, when you were painters, you never had the same job all the time. It'd be different, but I don't know. I was probably pretty accurate in the barber shop because they didn't want the employees to shave the clients because they would lose their ears and nose. And I was pretty good at sh with a straight razor. You can easy cut yourself really easy, but if you know what you're doing without cutting someone, I, you know, I, I was pretty good. Mm -hmm. In sharing how he copes with many of his memories that are painful, Jerry talks about how his faith helped him through the hard times. Jerry's faith continues to shape his attitude today. Do you have church at Penhurst? Like, how did you... Yeah, I had to go to both churches. Okay. Somebody had to push the wheelchair. Mm -hmm. up and back. So I was a Catholic in Protestant. Mm -hmm. I believe in God because he's really there. Mm -hmm. Not because, you know, they say the same verse over and over, but I believe what's in my heart. So God was there with yeah, you in Penrith? Yeah, yes. I mean, I couldn't see him, but I know he was there. 